Right guys, on our way up to Dunn Stores, we're going to do our weekly food shop. Um, do you ever get one of those weeks where you're doing up your food list of what you need in the shop and you think to yourself, I am actually browned off. Just fed up eating the same food. But I don't particularly, I'm not adventurous enough for cook to start cooking different stuff. So that's how I was being to, I know it's one of those problems there is no solution to just eat what you want. But I just, I was like, I'm sick of having spaghetti bolognese every week. Once a week we have spaghetti bolognese because, well, we all eat it and everybody seems to enjoy it. But I'm just browned off having it. So I might do savoury mince this week. And then what else? I might do a stew. Just something different. I need, I just want food and dinners that are different. But I'm not adventurous enough to go too different. Anyone else have the same problem? Well, this week we're gonna find out whether I am adventurous or what the hell I'm gonna come up with to eat. Once it's not spaghetti bolognese this week. Oh, I can't do another week of spaghetti bolognese. Stones is always busy. I think it's just it does a, lar a large catchment area. The other Duns that would be nearer to us be in the square shopping centre. And I don't really fancy going into the shopping centre in the middle of the day. I actually think I'm going to park here. Right, let's go into Duns. The stores have all the family Halloween Christmas pajamas in. Mummies, daddies, kids babies all in for christmas already all right guys just in the door from dunn's had to put the frozen stuff away i'll take it out at the end because you know me got yakking so my frozen fro food was nearly liquid by the time i got home so this is everything i got up in dunn's that isn't frozen so i'll get through that now so i got a coca-cola zero sugar I'm a bottle made from 100% recyclable material. So yeah, got one of them. Got some milk, got a three litre of milk. Didn't need any of Carl's milk, but I got myself a three litres of milk because I was totally out. I got two of the 7up, full sugar. Again, coming into winter. Heals a multitude, always handy to have in. So got two of them because they were on special. I got three Mawadi because the Mawadi was the two litre bottle of Mawadi in Dunn's was reduced and on special. So I got three of them because the way we go through Mawadi here is just unbelievable. So start to the front. So I got myself a 16 pack of jumbo irish sausages love sausages always handy to have versatile breakfast lunch or dinner we're actually having them for dinner tonight obviously not all 16 but that's breakfast then cooked for tomorrow so 16 of them also bought some white pudding now i love white pudding toast and brown sauce in the mornings absolutely yummy or if it's not on toast in a white roll. Just my little my little slice of happiness. So got some of that. I do like the coarse one. I don't like smooth. So the coarser the better. I got myself a pack of corned beef for sandwiches. That's the corned beef. Looks very well. Some of them can look quite fatty. So got myself some sliced corned beef. Also got myself some double cream because it's coming into porridge season. Love a bit of cream on top of porridge. I have no problem making it with 
excuse me, with water. But then two tablespoons of double cream on top and it's just the creamiest thing you've ever eaten in the morning. All right, guys, so then I got two tins of the baked beans because I had no baked beans whatsoever left. So I got two tins of them. Again, ideal breakfast, lunch, dinner. Great on the side. I got myself some, a beef casserole mix because I want to do a beef casserole during the week. And I had no mix for it, so got one of them. I was all out of tomato sauce, so I get Chef tomato sauce. I prefer this over Heinz. Heinz, I think, is very sweet. And I preferred the vinegariness of the Chef. So, got myself a Chef tomato ketchup. I also got this. This was on special offer. Now, this was something I got I didn't need, but handy to have. It's called I Love Air Fryer. And it's a roast vegetable seasoning mix. And basically all that's in it is garlic, sorry, salt, garlic, black pepper, parsley. So, but they're on special offer because they're only new in store. So give it a try. Sorry, I'm just moving stuff around. I got some Irish Angus beef steak mince. So... I told I don't particularly want spaghetti bolognese this week. When I said it to Carl, poor Carl's face dropped. He was like, no spaghetti bolognese. What, what's the world coming to? And I was like, okay, well, what I'll probably do is cook it off. Do half spaghetti bolognese, half savoury mince. Happy out. We're both happy. I got a pack of the Crawford's shorties. Love shorties. Absolutely love them. I thought they used to come in a green pack. Maybe I'm wrong. But I thought they used to come in a green pack. So picked up one of them. Picked up a Imperial Leather Moisturising Hand Wash Antibacterial Cotton cotton Flower and Vanilla Orchid Flavour. Uh, I was going to say scent. I needed them. I do find some of them now smell so harsh. It's like bathing your hands in chemicals. It's horrible. So I wanted a nice smell. That smelled lovely. I got a slice pan of the white toaster pan. Nice thick slices. So I got one of them. Now down here I got the extra mature Irish beef thick cut ribeye steaks. Myself and Carla are going to have a steak um, while watching the rugby on the weekend. So I'm going to have one of them. To go with them, I also got some onion rings to do in the air fryer because steak and onion rings, why not? Then I also got these chicken thighs oyster cut. Hayley, these are the ones I was talking about just in case you're watching. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to roast them off and then we'll probably eat four of them. And then the other... I don't know if it's three or four. I'm going to pull the chicken off for sandwiches. So that's what I got. I was saying to Hayley, the oyster chickens are a nice cut. And she was like, I can't find oysters. They're actually chicken thighs in the oyster cut. So there you go. Then I also got some diced steak. And this is for my beef casserole. So I am going to have that. Yeah. Right. Slow cook it for a wonder tenderness and rich flavour. Okay. Right, this aisle. So I got two of the batten carrots. Carl loves carrots. It's, it's his favourite. He doesn't particularly like other veg bar peas. So got two bags of the and carrots so I'm gonna boil them up I also got these the floratine or the cauliflower and broccoli florets so I'm going to roast them in the oven and uh, meal prep them out for during the week then handy enough now I also got a bag of Brussels sprouts love them or hate them 
Um, I particularly, I don't mind them. I like them. Would I overly go out of my way for them? Not particularly. But I did see a recipe that calls for bacon and cream cheese um, and doing the slow cooker. So I actually want to try that. I'm actually trying it because I want to see if it would be nice to serve at Christmas. So that's why I will be the guinea pig for Christmas foods. So that is a bag of Irish Brussels sprouts. How many is in there? 500 grams. Don't know if I need 500 grams, but hey ho. Funny, Carl won't eat Brussels sprouts, but he loves uh, cabbage. Anyway, so then for a snack for myself, I got some hummus. I got a three selection of hummus, which is the plain hummus, hummus with red pepper and jalapeno hummus. Sorry, it's not. I tell a lie. Hummus with lemon and coriander. Hummus, yeah. Hummus with red pepper and jalapeno. And then just plain hummus. That's the three of them there. Then I got some cottage cheese with pineapple. I did see an Aldi. They're doing a new one with uh, chives, is it? I think it's chives in it. Hayley likes that one. I don't particularly like it. I like the sweetness of the cottage cheese with pineapple. So I got that one. I also got some Irish medium red cheddar slices. Strength guide too. So not the strongest in the world and not the strongest flavoured. Um, 350 grams. So quite a chunk in there. Again, the weather's cooling down. It's time to start getting the toasty sandwiches going and stuff for lunch as opposed to just grabbing a roll and going. So that. And then finally of the non-frozen food, I got some shredded cabbage. There, we're going to have that. Probably actually with our steak. I don't know. I don't know yet what I'm going to do with that, but we're going to have that. So that is everything I got that isn't the frozen food from Dunn's. All right, guys, it is a couple of days later and I nearly forgot. It's only when I was editing, editing the video, I nearly forgot what to that I hadn't recorded the freezer stuff so over here we have got the chunky crisp and thick crisp and thick chunky oven chips so we got a bag of them now they're nearly half gone but uh, they're lovely and they are quite chunky so they are gorgeous and then we also got sorry I'm using a different camera I don't know where it's pointing we also got the lightly spiced southern fried potato wedges. So this is this bag. I'm trying to see how much is in it. A kg, one kg is in that bag there. And in this bag there is one and a half kg in the chips, the chunky chips. So that's those two. And then of course, because we always like a bit of fish, we got some lightly dusted sea salt and cracked pepper bassa fillets so got them as well I actually love their got the Young's gastro range I think it's absolutely gorgeous all right guys so I hope you enjoyed that shop from Dunn's and um, it was quite a big shop because we needed to catch up on a lot of stuff next week is going to be a small just small top up shop but the week after the girls are coming home for no next week yeah whatever date around the 30th i think the girls are coming home for halloween and uh, i need to do a bigger shop obviously to have stuff in for the two of them as well so yeah hope you enjoyed that if you did remember to give the video a big thumbs up and i will talk to you in my next one guys take care of yourselves bye bye